So this is the second video in the Learning MySQL series. What I want to do here is teach you about the SELECT statement. So you need to get some data out of a database. The SELECT statement is how you do it. Uh, so if you follow the first video, you should already have the movies and genres tables set up in PHP MyAdmin. But if you don't, then this is the code gist. I'm going to have the link to this. So this link will be in the description down below. You can download this and then install this in MySQL. So in PHP MyAdmin, we've got a movie called, or sorry, a database called Movies. And inside that, if you've got that file, you can go to Import, Choose File, select the file that we downloaded, and then click the Go button. That will run it, and it will create both these tables and all the data that's inside of them. So you'll have the same data that I'm starting with. All right, so what we want to do is we want to run some SQL statements. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. This is the language that relational databases understand. Um, now there's some slight variations depending on which database program that you're running, whether it's MySQL or PostgreSQL or SQL Server or Oracle. There's slight variations, but the basic syntax is the same across all of these. So let's run a SQL command. We want to get all the information out about movies. So let's actually, let's jump into the movies table and look at all the data that we've got in here. So it's a whole bunch of movie titles directors, the years the movies were made, and then the genre, these ones are all fantasy or sci-fi. So one is fantasy, two is sci-fi. This is the data that we're going to be trying to extract from the database. So we'll go to our SQL tab. Whether you're at the movies or the table section and you click on the SQL tab, it's going to work the same way. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more just to make it easier for you to read. These are the three basic parts of a SELECT statement. This is the minimal SELECT statement. So in the first line, SELECT, and then which columns do you want? So if you put an asterisk in here, then you're going to get um, all of the columns. So everything that's listed over here. If you want a specific one, or two, or three, then you can put them in here. So let's say I want movie title and director. And those are the only ones that I want. Now, from is, well, from which table? The table is movies. And then we can't just leave it at that. We can say, select these two columns from this table. And if I click go, it's going to run that. And it's going to give me that. It's going to give me a list of all the movies, the titles, and the director. You'll see I don't have the ID, I don't have the year, I don't have the genre, just the ones that I chose. So here's the statement right here at the top. Select movie title and director. Those are the two columns from movies. That's my table. Great. Okay, so let's try this again. If we do select star from movies and we run that, now I do get all the columns. So movie ID, title, director, year, and genre. All of them come in. All right, now let's filter these results. So let's say movie title and director. We'll do those two again. From movies, that's our table name. Where, and this is called the filter. With the filter, we can decide if we want to compare any of the columns against any other value. So I could say where movie ID is greater than 10. This was a list of numbers. So if the movie ID is greater than 10, I'm going to copy this so we can do it again. Go. There we are. So it's a smaller list. I don't even have to have the movie ID in the results that I'm getting back. You'll see I don't have movie ID inside my select statement in the select clause. I don't have to have it there to filter my result based on that. Okay, so I clicked on edit inline here, by the way, to 
edit it on the same page, just so we don't have to keep jumping back and forth. Now, movie ID, if I want a specific number, I can say equal to 17. Go. There we go. That was the one movie where the movie ID was 17. If I want to include movie ID here, I can do that. Go. There we go. Movie ID is 17. There's the title and the director. Not equal to 17. So look at all the movie IDs. And 17 is missing. They're coming out in sequential order because that's the order that I added them. Okay, so we've got columns, table, and then filters. So this is numerical, but we can also do um, string matches. So let's say we're movie title equals labyrinth. Oh, this should be double quotes. Unlike JavaScript, the quotes do matter in MySQL. There we go. So there's the one result, the one record, the one row. You can use the term row or record interchangeably. But here's the one that matched with this query. There was only one that had the title labyrinth. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of these movies that had the, a certain letter inside them. If I wanted something that had the letter A inside, this isn't going to work. I can't say where the movie title is equal to A because, well, there's nothing that's going to be exactly that. It's labyrinth. It's got an A inside of it, but it's not exactly that. So if you want to do wildcard matching, there's a wildcard character, and I can do this. I can say there's an A somewhere inside, but again, it's not going to be an exact match. See, I don't get, I get zero rows. There's no, nothing that matches that. If you want to do wildcard matches with strings, there's actually another keyword, like. This is, use the wildcard characters and find things that are like that. So if I click go, there, here's all the movies that have a letter A inside them. Um, let's look for a capital G. So something that starts with a G. Let's try that. There we go. Gattaca and Galaxy Quest both start with the letter G. And we were able to find those because we put the wildcard character after that. If I want to find things that end with the letter T, I'd say anything and then a letter T. Galaxy Quest and Fifth Element. Okay, those both end with the letter T. Now, that's one filter where movie title like this. If I want to add more filters onto this to say, okay, I want to match the movie title as well as something else, I can say, and director, let's say that starts with, oops, double quotes, starts with Luke. There we are. One match. Fifth Element by Luc Besson. And you can add as many of these filters as you want. You just have to put an and or or and say or director like uh, I can't remember who the other director was, so I'll just put a wildcard character in there. There we go. Now I got everything in here and that is because I used or. So what it did was it tried these two things. That gave me fifth element. And then it said, or director like anything at all. So basically just fetch me all the records. Um, Dean Perso, that was the other one. So we'll say or starts with Dean. There we go. Now, one other way of doing this. So I can say where director like Luke, director like Dean. Um, this is going to give me the movies who were directed by Dean somebody, regardless of the title. If I wanted to make sure that the movie title ended with a T 
and was one of these two directors, I can put parentheses around these to group them together like that. So now it's going to say, you must have a movie title that ends with a letter T. Additionally, one of these two directors. I can't say director like Luke or like Dean or director like Luke or Dean. It has to be the full phrase, director like Luke, director like Dean, with the or between them and then the parentheses wrapped around the group of them like that. But that's it. That's columns, table, or tables. We're going to get into multiple tables shortly. And your filters with where. We also have order by. And order by is going to sort them. Right now, they're in sequential order like this. Uh, this is also alphabetical order here and here, so these aren't going to change depending on sorting by any of those. But we can say order by And that is the column year. Okay, so fifth element came before Galaxy Quest, 1997, 1999. Let's actually, let's add that in here so we can see it as well. So we can make sure that that is working out. There we go. So 1997 before 1999. Yes, that worked out properly. Now there's another keyword that we can add here. We can say ascending, which is the default, which is what this is, or we can say descending. With DESC, that means basically in reverse order. Do this now. There we go. Now the 1999 comes before this. So that one's first. Order by director descending. Now the L for Luc Besson comes before Dean. That worked out. Or if you want, you can have multiple ones. Now I'm going to reduce this a little bit just so we have more records and we can see a little bit more what's going on. And actually, let's do it the other way around. So I'm going to sort it first by year, and we're going to do ascending. And then if you get the same director, or sorry, the same year, some of them in the same year, we're going to look at the directors in that year and do it descending within that year. There we go. So Jim Henson. Here we have Jim Henson showing up. So year ascending and then director descending. 1992, or yeah, 1982. So John and Jim. So John would come after Jim alphabetically. This is coming descending order for the director, but 81 comes before 82. So we've got ascending order for the years. We get to 1997 and here's Luke and Andrew, Luke, and Andrew, this is in descending order, but the year, 97 comes after 86. Uh, 99, same thing. The D comes before the T in ascending order. 2009, N, J. So it is working out for us. So we can do multiple sorts, uh, multiple sorts with order by ascending, descending, as many as you want. You can do multiple filters with where using and or or multiple tables we're going to get into in a future video and one or more columns just like that and that's it that's a good introduction to select that gives you a lot of stuff that you can do so i encourage you please to play around with that if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below there will be more videos on doing selects from multiple tables there will be more videos on doing other things with select but this is the basic syntax that you need for most of the queries that you'll do on a single table all right as always thanks for watching